for the treatment of asthma, COPD, and other respiratory ailments. This video presentation is intended to complement, not replace, written instructions that accompany your compressor nebulizer. Please make sure you read, understand, and follow the information provided in the written instruction guide. Your DeVilbus Traveler can be powered in several different ways for your convenience. To use your Traveler with a standard power outlet, simply insert the AC adapter into an appropriate wall outlet and then insert the opposite end of the power cord into the power socket of the Traveler. The power indicator light will display green when the unit is turned on. Your Traveler can also be powered by your 12-volt DC or cigarette lighter outlet in your car. Consult your automobile's owner's manual to ensure the outlet is indeed 12 volts. To use a DC outlet, plug the DC adapter into the outlet and then insert the opposite end of the power cord into the power socket of the traveler. Again, the power indicator light will display green when the unit is turned on. Finally, the DeVilbus Traveler offers an optional rechargeable battery. If your unit did not come with the battery and you would like to purchase it, please contact your DeVilbus provider. To use your Traveler with the battery, first remove the protective plastic cover on the end of the unit. Then insert the battery by aligning the battery connectors to the grooves on the side of the Traveler. Then push toward the Traveler until the battery clicks into place. The power indicator light will display green when the unit is turned on. When the battery is running low on power, the battery indicator light will illuminate red. You can recharge the battery by connecting the AC or DC power cord to the traveler and appropriate outlet while the battery is installed on the unit. Charge times can range from 4 to 12 hours. The battery indicator light will illuminate orange while the battery is charging and green once the battery is fully charged. Please note that you need to charge the battery for 24 hours when charging for the first time. Also, the battery will not charge while the traveler is in use. The DeVilbus Traveler Portable Compressor is very easy to use and includes the following. Compressor, AC power adapter, DC power adapter, disposable nebulizer and or reusable nebulizer with tubing, adult and pediatric aerosol masks, nebulizer holder adapter bracket, replacement filters, carrying case, and battery connection cover. Remember to clean your compressor every few days with a damp cloth to keep it dust free. The Traveler compressor filter should be changed at least every six months, sooner if the filter is discolored. To replace the filter simply pull back the rubber cover tab on the side of the Traveler, remove the filter and then replace with a new filter. Please note that the Traveler filter cover tab should remain attached to the Traveler and should not be entirely removed. Do not under any circumstance reuse or wash this filter or substitute any other materials for a DeVilbus air inlet filter. Non-compliance could result in compressor damage. You received a disposable nebulizer with your DeVilbus Traveler compressor. Please note that you may have also received a reusable nebulizer with your unit. Refer to the nebulizer packaging to determine the type of nebulizer. If you have received a reusable nebulizer, please use that as your primary nebulizer. The disposable nebulizer should be used as your backup nebulizer should you lose or damage your reusable nebulizer. 
Additionally, please note that in the future you may receive a nebulizer from your provider that looks different from this one. However, the care and use of most disposable nebulizers is similar. Your nebulizer consists of a mouthpiece, medication cup, nebulizer cap, baffle, and tubing. Before you use your nebulizer for the first time, clean all parts by following the instructions provided later in this video. After washing your hands, insert the baffle into the nebulizer medication cup. While holding the cup, attach the nebulizer cap by turning clockwise. Next, add the prescribed dosage of medication into the nebulizer through the large opening in the top of the nebulizer cap and attach the mouthpiece to the cap by pushing gently straight down. If you're using an aerosol mask, place the mask adapter directly into the top of the nebulizer cap. Finally, attach the tubing to the nebulizer air inlet connector. You're now ready to begin treatment by turning the compressor's power switch on and placing the mouthpiece between your teeth. With your mouth closed, inhale deeply and slowly through the mouth, then exhale slowly through the mouthpiece. If you need to interrupt treatment, simply turn off the power switch and place your nebulizer into the holder on the Traveler. Please note that you may need to use the nebulizer holder adapter bracket to accommodate your nebulizer. If you're using an aerosol mask, place it over your mouth and nose. As aerosol begins to flow, inhale deeply and slowly through your mouth, then exhale slowly. Please note that medication can collect on the sides of the nebulizer during treatment. If this happens, gently tap the nebulizer and the medication should drop back into the cup. When you've completed your treatment, turn off the compressor and unplug the unit from the wall power outlet and power socket on the unit. Without exception, all parts of the nebulizer except for the tubing must be cleaned after every use. The inside of the tubing does not have to be washed because only filtered air passes through it. Start by disconnecting the tubing from the air inlet connector. To disassemble the nebulizer, first remove the mouthpiece from the nebulizer cap by grasping firmly and pulling straight up. Do not twist the mouthpiece. Next, remove the nebulizer cap by turning counterclockwise, then remove the baffle from the medicine cup by lifting straight up. Now you're ready to wash all parts, except the tubing, in a solution of hot water and dishwashing detergent. Then rinse all the pieces under hot tap water for 30 seconds and allow to air dry. Do not towel dry nebulizer parts to avoid the potential for contamination. On a daily basis, you'll also need to disinfect your nebulizer. This is accomplished by soaking your disassembled nebulizer in a clean container or bowl containing three parts hot water and one part white vinegar for 30 minutes. Or you can use a medical bacterial germicidal disinfectant available through your medical provider. With clean hands, remove the nebulizer parts from the disinfectant solution, rinse thoroughly under hot tap water, and allow to air dry on a clean paper towel. Store the parts in a sealable plastic storage bag. Always prepare a fresh solution for each cleaning cycle and discard after each use. Keep the outer surface of the tubing free of dust and grime by wiping regularly. With proper care, your disposable nebulizer will last at least 15 days and possibly longer depending on usage. You may have received a DeVilbus reusable nebulizer in addition to a disposable nebulizer with your Traveler. The reusable nebulizer should be used as your primary nebulizer. The disposable nebulizer was provided as a backup nebulizer should you lose or damage the primary reusable nebulizer. Please note that the reusable nebulizer provided with your unit may look different from this one. Also, in the future, you may receive a nebulizer from your provider that looks different from those featured in this video. However, the care and use of most reusable nebulizers is similar. The reusable nebulizer consists of a mouthpiece, cap, medication cup, baffle, and tubing. Before you use your nebulizer for the first time, 
Clean all parts by following the instructions provided later in this video. After washing your hands, insert the baffle into the nebulizer medication cup. While holding the cup, attach the nebulizer cap by turning clockwise. Next, add the prescribed dosage of medication into the nebulizer through the large opening in the top of the nebulizer cap and attach the mouthpiece to the cap by pushing gently straight down. If you're using an aerosol mask, place the mask adapter directly into the top of the nebulizer cap. Finally, attach the tubing to the nebulizer air inlet connector. You're now ready to begin treatment by turning the compressor's power switch on and placing the mouthpiece between your teeth. With your mouth closed, inhale deeply and slowly through the mouth, then exhale slowly through the mouthpiece. If you need to interrupt treatment, simply turn off the power switch and place your nebulizer into the holder on the traveler. Please note that you may need to use the nebulizer holder adapter bracket to accommodate your nebulizer. If you're using an aerosol mask, place it over your mouth and nose. As aerosol begins to flow, inhale deeply and slowly through your mouth, then exhale slowly. Please note that medication can collect on the sides of the nebulizer during treatment. If this happens, gently tap the nebulizer and the medication should drop back into the cup. When you've completed treatment, turn off the compressor and unplug the unit from the wall power outlet. Without exception, all parts of the nebulizer, except for the tubing, must be cleaned before initial use and after each use. The inside of the tubing does not have to be washed because only filtered air passes through it. Start by disconnecting the tubing from the air inlet connector. To disassemble the nebulizer, first remove the mouthpiece from the nebulizer cap by grasping firmly and pulling straight up. Do not twist the mouthpiece. Next, remove the nebulizer cap by turning counterclockwise, then remove the baffle from the medicine cup by lifting straight up. Now you're ready to wash all parts except the tubing in a solution of hot water and dishwashing detergent. Rinse under hot tap water for 30 seconds and allow to air dry. Along with cleaning your nebulizer, you'll also need to disinfect your nebulizer regularly. This is accomplished by soaking your disassembled nebulizer for 30 minutes in a clean container in your dishwasher, top shelf only. A word of vinegar. Or you can use a medical bacterial germicidal disinfectant available through your medical provider. With clean hands, remove the nebulizer parts from the disinfectant solution, rinse under hot tap water, and allow to air dry on a clean paper towel. Do not towel dry nebulizer parts to avoid the potential for contamination. Store the parts in a sealable plastic storage bag. Always prepare fresh solution for each cleaning cycle and discard after each use. Your reusable nebulizer can also be disinfected in your dishwasher, top shelf only. A word of caution, disposable nebulizers should never be cleaned in an automatic dishwasher. Keep the outer surface of the tubing free of dust and grime by wiping regularly. With proper care, your reusable nebulizer should last for up to one year. 